Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back! Here we are again, once more, playing D-Ray Valley, I guess, yes. <sighs> yeah, uh, I, I, I couldn't decide what to play today, but on the other hand, well, last time, uh, I've been talking about some mods that I installed. And I didn't show up everything, to be honest. <laughs> uh, what did I show? Uh, yes, we got those two new locomotives. Uh, what was it? Uh, JW663 or whatever that was. And 664. Uh, so we tested those two. They were really nice. Uh, they have their own bugs, but in general, very, very solid work. Uh, but I also shown you ST44. But we haven't been driving that. So today, I am planning to take it for a spin. Uh, we will see how well it performs and how well that mod is, is made. Uh, because I, I really haven't tested that locomotive yet. <laughs> Where's the steam train? A uh, steam train is... Uh, Somewhere, uh, I, I'm I'm fairly sure we we got one some somewhere here. Uh, but there is a steam train somewhere. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll find it. Uh, today I've been also messing with some other mods. Uh, for example, passenger jobs, uh, which perhaps at some point I will try and and make. Uh, the problem is that this, yeah, these jobs require license. And I don't have it. <laughs> uh, so at some point I will have to invest that money and, and get uh, passenger jobs uh, license. We will try to move some passengers as well. Uh, perhaps that could be a good idea for the next episode. Uh, I'm not sure if I can make it in, in today's episode, but we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Uh, I, I, I don't really write any scripts or scenarios for those, so... You know, you, you can never be sure. You can never be sure, chat. Anyway, uh, those are not only things that I wanted to show to you. Uh, there are some changes to the stream. Uh, perhaps that would be uh, a best things to... Uh, well, one of the best things to mention at the beginning. Uh, so, uh, so far, uh, until... Last time, uh, I've been using Streamlabs uh, for all my notifications, announcements, and, and all that stuff. And this week, I decided that I will resign from their services and switch to Stream Elements. Uh, so all the notifications and many things on my current stream layout uh, have been done within the past 24 hours in Stream Elements. Uh, that also applies to all the notifications or alerts that will pop up when you guys will perform things like subscribing or uh, donations, tips and, and, and stuff. All, all that comes from uh, Stream Elements now. And they will work differently from what they used to. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how well that will work, to be honest. <laughs> So we are testing things today. Uh, I can see, oh, Raliev, 11 months. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations for 11 months. Uh, yeah, nothing popped up, so I, I will probably have to configure that. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, alerts will work for uh, crew members that are still a crew members, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think it will work only for the new ones. Uh, but thank you very much for supporting me for 11 months. One more and you will have uh, a different badge next to your name, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so hopefully you are looking forward to that. Uh, right, uh, let's see. Uh, what else have changed? I uh, can't really remember, to be honest. Uh, I made so many changes. Well, you, you guys will have to discover what I changed, uh, if, if I remember other things that I changed. Oh yes, I forgot. Uh, you probably noticed that today's notifications were sent uh, by me manually. 
And that is because I am also changing how notifications will work on my Discord. And that's why I invited me 6 bot to, to my server. I just need to configure it. So uh, bear with me. Bear with me and the notifications will work again. Uh, that applies to my channel and other channels that were featured in, in those previously. Uh, because that, that won't work from today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think that's all the changes that I remember at the moment. Uh, I probably should have written that on, on some piece of paper or something, but well, you know, it's it's me. Oh, there we go. Oh my dear lord, second king. <laughs> Thank you very much for being first beta tester. <laughs> oh dear lord. Uh, yeah, that, that made a mess on the screen. <laughs> Well, at least tips uh, works, uh, so so thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> and by the way, uh, no, I, I'm not going to jump on, on, on voice chat today. Uh, perhaps the other time, uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, today I will let you guys laugh on your own. <laughs> Right, anyway, uh, I'm here sitting, basically talking stuff and and, and we are not playing the game and, and I, I think we should start, should we? Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Uh, let me just find the button, my goodness me, uh, I, I think that's the one. There we go, that's much better. All right, chat. So here we are um, next to SD44. The model itself looks pretty all right, uh, but it has some issues. Um, as you can probably see, well, the textures are made so that they are slightly reflective, which Technically, isn't a bad thing. It, it, it makes things look a little bit better. Uh, the problem with that effect starts when when the night time comes, uh, because obviously the model is a bit brighter than the rest of the environment, so it very well. So it sticks out, and uh, that is a common problem with many uh, many mods uh, related to. Uh, rolling stock and, and, and stuff. Uh, things are just too bright during night time, and, and that is because of those reflections. Uh, they they still work at night time, and they make uh, all the textures look brighter. Uh, that is not the case for shunters right now, uh, because I install some mods that remove reflections for uh, shunters and default uh, D-Ray Valley rolling stock, uh, but that doesn't apply to custom mods, uh, so these locomotives will all be brighter at night uh, than, than they should be. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, that, that looks too reflective. Uh, oh, like, my dear lord, yeah, basically... Yeah, all the wheels and uh, and brakes. Uh, that that is too reflective. Uh, it it basically looks like it it's been molded from plastic or, or something. So that's uh, that's not how these elements should look like. Uh, it's not bad for for like a, a main box uh, because obviously uh, usually. The paint uh, in which locomotives are painted, so, yet yeah, it is meant to be slightly reflective, um, but it wears up. Uh, it wears off uh, over time, and, and this one, yeah, it it, it looked uh, like it went through some work. So, yeah, it it shouldn't be that reflective. Uh, anyway, uh, as always, work uh, well. Doors don't work, 
So you have to just jump in using F button. And here we are in the cabin. Uh, I won't be really commenting much about how the cabin looks like. Well, it, it looks pretty much as, as you would expect uh, this model to look like, um, if anyone ever seen ST44 inside. It looks okay. Uh, it, it definitely looks okay. Uh, but many of the buttons won't work because there is no use for them in the Ray Valley. Uh, the Ray Valley has very simplified controls and therefore there's really not much buttons to operate. Uh, so we can basically turn on, uh, I believe that's that should be oil pump. Uh, is it? Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, let me just turn on my flashlight. And yes, that's a fuel pump. Oops, uh, what did I do? Uh, there we go. That's a fuel pump. And then we can turn this bad boy on. And that's it. Uh, there is no battery, no fuses. Uh, perhaps that's one of the elements that could be added uh, to, to this locomotive. Uh, gauges on their own doesn't really show much. Uh, that's main reservoir. And I believe that will be brake cylinders. So as you can see, chat, there's really not much indication inside the cabin. Uh, I'm not sure if these gauges are actually showing anything. Yeah, these ones don't work at all. And when it comes to indication about basic things that should be in the Ray Valley, uh, we got oil level and fuel level. So these gauges are hidden behind the cabin. And obviously sand level. Uh, I don't really see any heat gauge, uh, so I believe this engine won't be able to overheat, although I might be wrong on that. Uh, also engine room might need some work to be honest. It's it really is not well textured, uh, so uh, let me just jump out. Yeah, that should be a door frame, to be honest. Well, there is some work to be done uh, with this model, uh, but the cabin looks all right. Uh, I don't think there is a cab light. Let's see. Uh, those should be... Yeah, those should be normal lights. Uh, obviously, we don't need them right now. Uh, any of these buttons work? Uh, of course not. Uh, that will be... Reverser. And there we got... Independent... And train brake. Right, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how to set them to release, to be honest. I can only assume that it is released now. Is it? I don't know. I don't know, chat. That is a good question. Right, the best way to check it... Is 
is to try and move. And I am not moving. Let's see if that will release the brakes. Okay, we got some movement. Uh, that mustache. Uh, I've been using it for like a month or two now. Uh, but yes, it, it is kind of a new thing. I, I can take it off uh, at some point. So it's just an additional element that is displayed over my avatar. Right, chat, we are moving. Uh, looks like brakes are now released uh, so both uh, both handles uh, needs to be facing the driver uh, am I growing one in real life uh, yes I, I do have a mustache of well I got similar style mustache <laughs> okay and the horn is really terrible uh, let's let's not mention it. Uh, okay, is there anything else we can do in this cabin? Uh, really not much. Nope, wipers don't work. Oops, uh, what did I do? Oh, there we go. We'll definitely have to get used to controls of, uh, of this locomotive. Let's try and stop it. Okay. Let's set reverse it to neutral. And now let's check. Oh, come on. I, I, I need to get out. There we go. Now let's check if we can operate this locomotive from the second cabin. Uh, because it has two of them. Uh, so this part works. We can turn on the lights. Okay. Oh. We can also turn on the gauge lights, and that actually looks pretty nice. And uh, the brake handle is set. Okay. Okay. So that works. Okay, that, that doesn't work as it should. Lelo TF, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, that is a mod. Uh, that is a mod. And I'm just testing it right now. Uh, right, let me just change the switch so we can go into the yard. Okay, so we are all set up, I believe. Brakes released. Ooh, we are rolling back. Come on, we need more power. Yeah, the horn is really terrible. It's a very loud locomotive.
Hi Nam, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, we can let it coast now. <laughs> Machina in the Valley, yes, uh, technically. <laughs> Okay, let's go to this yard. Uh, how am I doing? Uh, not too bad, to be honest. Uh, I had pretty... Well, silent week, to be honest. Uh, not much happened. Spent most of it at work. As always. <laughs> Jet, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your day at work. And Captain Michael, yes, uh, there is like a remote control for many things. It looks like a radio. Uh, so I can change switches. I can re-rail uh, derailed uh, locomotives and rolling stock. I can clear them, I can spawn crew vehicle, I can spawn other types of locomotives and, and wagons, I can load cargo, I can reskin locomotives and I can change their sounds and most of it comes from the mods, except the gun itself. Uh, right, what am I doing now? Uh, that is a good question, because even I don't know. Uh, right, I will roll past the next junction and then I will think what to do next. Uh, D-Ray Valley in multiplayer, uh, yes there is a mod for that, uh, but as far as I'm aware it's no longer in active development. And it wasn't working so well uh, back then. Uh, I even had one or two streams with Bolt uh, trying that mod and yeah, it, it, it wasn't so great. Uh, so there is still some work to be done, and I'm not sure if anyone is still working on, on that mod. Okay, uh, let's stop this bad boy. And that should be enough. Uh, okay, we can leave it on. Yeah, I need to get out. There we go. Okay, that's how it looks like when it's turned on. Uh, definitely those reflective textures are too bright uh, and, and that needs to be changed. But other than that, I, I really like the model. Uh, right, let's have a look at... Uh, yeah, just as I expected. I left this one. Oh, I, I forgot to park it. Uh, oh dear lord. Right. Uh, right, let's let's quickly turn it on. I hope I got this right. Of course I don't. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I need to turn on... Uh, you, open. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about the fuses.
go. Is there anything else that I forgot about? I I think I, I did. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I forgot. So I did it right. I, I was supposed to change those two switches and then there we go. And then use this. Now it works. There we go. Okay, so we need to park this bad boy uh, back in engine shed. So let's set the reverser. Okay, I I think I got this one right. No, I don't want this light. Rip engine. Yeah, you know, you don't have to wait for that in Dire Valley. Ah, there we go. So I just operated the wrong lever. Okay. That should be enough. Not sure why I'm using train brake, uh, but we got two cabins in here, <laughs> which is very convenient. Yeah, that's the one. There we go. And I think this one had a window that we could open, is it? Oh no, we can only open the doors. But it doesn't really change the sound. Which is a bit of a shame. Cabin should technically isolate uh, the sounds a little bit. And I also heard from the mod developer that uh, the windows will be fixed uh, really soon. So they won't give that tinted effect. We need to go all the way to the roundhouse. So that's gonna take a while. Perfect speed for shunting. Shot a little bit. Okay, but we are now stopped. 
Perfect. And change the switch. Okay, and now we are rolling into the roundhouse. What are we doing in the Ray Valley today? I, I don't know yet. I really don't know yet, uh, but I'm sure we will do something amazing. For now I need to service this locomotive. And get back to the one that I am planning to use today. Uh, boxcar, yes, I, I heard about the drama and I read the announcement on on Steam. Okay, there we go. Uh, perhaps I should. Turn off the engine first. Now, since we are here... Let's put some fuel. We actually used quite a lot of fuel last time. There we go. Uh, not, not so economic uh, engine. Speaking of engine... Yeah, everything. used a little bit okay so we have to pay eight thousand uh, let me find my wallet there we go okay so this one is serviced uh, do I want to leave it here that's the question uh, perhaps it would be wise to just move it to uh, to this space We do it, chat. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, right. So let's turn it on again. There we go. Yeah. All the switches. There we go. Now it works. Uh, the drifter, yes, I, I could spawn the steamer, uh, but I don't plan to use one uh, at the moment, and I'm sure we will find one on our way. Let me just... Put this loco on proper track. There we go. Uh, 
go uh, if we oh, there we go. come on open yeah, there we go ah it's perfect so, uh, I, I want you on this truck there we go much better I want to get inside. Oh dear lord. Right, that. Oh. Why? Why? There we go. Oh. Why is it doing this to me? Okay. Uh, I got this. I got this shot. Reverse forwards. Breaks off. And off we go. Yeah, I heard there was a massive drama. I, I'm not sure exactly what happened, uh, but I had some bits and pieces. And it doesn't look good. Uh, definitely, developers need to... Yeah. ...sort out uh, that mess. Because uh, that's probably like second or third drama that happens to the game and, and that should not be happening to be honest uh, especially if they really want to release any any sort of product uh, I know that from time to time things will go wrong and and some people will say things that that shouldn't be said and etc etc et uh, but uh, yeah I heard there was some uh, Uh, contract protected information that was leaked and, and, and some other stuff that happened so yeah definitely they need to clean up in, inside their team uh, there we go someone asked for a steamer um, here we got one uh, let me actually see if I got uh, a skin oh, I, I don't have any other skins for that sadly uh, maybe at some point I will be able to install some skins for SH282. I tried to install one today, but it didn't work. Uh, we obviously have some passenger wagons, uh, but I can't really do anything with them just yet. Those ones look really nice. Oh, okay. Red wagons are really bad. I, I thought that would be like a first class, but that looks like a fourth class. Okay, well. Eh, let's have a look at those green ones. Uh, they, they look pretty bad. They look pretty much the same inside. Yeah, it's just a different color. So that's disappointing. And there are also blue ones. Uh, anyway, uh, I left my locomotive running. Oh dear lord. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's just clear the keys. Uh, so what do I have? Uh, locomotive 01. Insert wallet. Confirm. Uh, Locomotive 35, which is the one that I'm using today. And Locomotive 74. Okay, I, I don't remember using that, but fair enough. Uh, so we got Locomotive 35, and let's see what we can do. Uh, I would like to go to Goods Factory in town. Uh, but do we have any jobs? Uh... Taking four wagons with uh, heavy freight locomotive, uh, that doesn't look right. Uh, we got a job for Harbour and Town, in fact we got two jobs for Harbour and Town. Uh, we could take those and get them delivered. Yeah, I, I guess that will be... The only thing, uh, I could also take that uh, logistical hole. 
but I don't think I can be bothered uh, with like switching cars at the end. Yeah, we definitely won't make it. I, I really hate those logistical holes. Uh, shunting, I'm not interesting. Uh, we can't do that. We are not going to machine factory in town. Because we are at machine factory in town. Uh, right, anyway, uh, let me just find those wagons and I do hope. This car and which one we uh, right, yeah, blah 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 uh, FH forty one FH ninety three FH forty one so those are these three wagons that we need to pick up and these tractors perfect uh, let's do it really quick oh okay but we need to pick them up from the other side do we? we are going to harbor in town so I don't want to go in this direction I want to go in the opposite direction <coughs> right so so uh, 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 I need to change that switch and I should be ready Okay, this is on, and this is now released. Okay, that that still sounds awful. Oh, I see, I see. Um. We'll see what's gonna come out out of this. Uh, I know there are a few other games in development. Uh, I think one of them is called Railbound, uh, which is also some sort of like a multiplayer game, quite similar to D-Ray Valley. Uh, the thing with it is, it is being made by a person that made a multiplayer mod uh, for D-Ray Valley or began to work on multiplayer mod uh, so I look forward how this project will look like oh dear lord this locomotive is super loud You know what, chat? Uh, I'm gonna use that thing. There we go. Oh yes, uh, D-Ray Valley would definitely benefit from uh, from multiplayer. Although we can't be sure if that's gonna happen. Will be the first time I, I see ST44 uh, with remote control. Okay, for now I just need an access to this one and this one. Okay, reverse. Oh my goodness, that sounds really bad. Quad head trains. <laughs> mm. No, no, that would be too much. I'm not sure if 
if this one will actually even support multiple units uh, operation. Uh, I, I... Oh, okay, it has the wire. Uh, right. Let's use some brakes. There we go, that's much more appropriate. <laughs> you would be at the back with full throttle. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. There we go, and now a couple. Okay. Perfect. Reverser goes back forwards. That's the first set of cars. Okay, now we need to pick up those. Change that switch. That switch. and slow nice and slow and okay can now apply train brake okay that went smooth That, that was a bit too long. Okay, that was a bit too much brakes. Uh, not really, to be honest. I, I'm not fan to to use one of those like a uh, rail drivers and and stuff. I don't know, I, I just got used to... Oh, that, that was a bit rough. Uh, I just got used to use, um, like, a keyboard and mouse, uh, to be honest. Uh, so I, I don't really feel like I actually need those controllers. I don't know, uh, like, for train sims it makes no sense. Uh, what I would like to have uh, at one point, uh, I'm not sure, probably I've never shown that. Uh, at some point uh, I've seen a video, someone actually converted very, very old cabin from EU-07 and made it so that you can play Machina on it and that looked really cool. 
and, and and that would be probably the only form of like a rail driver that I would ever want to have. Um, I will try to find this video and post it on my Discord after the stream if somebody will remind me about it. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately right now I can't really show it to you. Uh, but whoever is from, from Poland and is playing Maszyna uh, probably knows what I'm talking about. And yeah, that's, that's, that is definitely a nice thing to have. Uh, but it requires a lot of like uh, work uh, from, from that person to, to build it. Uh, so yeah, it, it turned out to be really, really amazing. Uh, but the controller itself, yeah, I, as I said, I, I'm not particularly interested in. Uh, it's... I don't know. It's very expensive accessory that is not needed. Uh, I can understand, like, let's say, a steering wheel for uh, ETS or any racing game. That's, that's really fantastic stuff. Uh, like a flight stick for, for like, a flight sims. Uh, but for train simulators, I, I really can't understand why people would even bother with that rail uh, rail driver and, and stuff. It's, in my opinion, that's massive waste of money. Yeah, exactly. If, if the controller is made from actual cabin conversion, uh, or act as an actual cabin conversion, that makes sense. Uh, because then... You can program it so that whenever you move different levers and change different switches, it actually works as as it should be, and, and that adds some sort of some level of uh, realism or immersion. Uh, but rail driver on its own, it's, it's just I don't know. I I looked at that device uh, online, uh, and, and like it's it's not impressive. It it didn't impress me enough to. To make me want to buy it. Right, anyway, chat, uh, we have accepted the jobs and so let's see. E8i and that goes to D4i. Okay. Uh, so the brakes are off. Brakes are off. And now... We can move! It will be pretty loud in here. Or at least it is loud for me. But we'll get there chat, we'll get there. We got 49 minutes to get to Harbour and Town. Paint on the tender, Union Pacific. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll think about it when I will learn how to actually install uh, skins for Shunter. Because last time I tried, they didn't work. I mean, as I said, it's a different story when it comes to like a flight stick and, and this kind of gear. Uh, because it makes actual sense to have it and it's completely different to, to play like flight simulators or uh, you can play other games uh, like let's say War Thunder or even like uh, some advanced simulators. And, and that's perfectly fine if, if you use a flight stick for that. and. Uh, Depending on how much money you can spend on that, it, it is very useful. Uh, but yeah, rail driver is absolutely useless in my opinion. Huh. 
Right, chat. We are on our way. Moving at full speed. Uh, what currency do I use? Um, it's British pound sterling. slow down a little bit I mean that would actually make sense uh, if if rail driver can be used to control model railways or or this kind of stuff, uh, yeah, then the device would make sense. Uh, but yeah, in, in my opinion, when you play a train simulator, you actually don't need any sort of rail driver. It's just massive waste of money. But if somebody wants to, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, but in my opinion, that device makes no sense apart from putting money into someone's pocket. All right, chat, we are doing 70. And I haven't even started to add throttle. Okay, but we are at, uh, we are now approaching uh, city southwest, and I think we will have to slow down to like thirty. Okay, that goes down to 60, so we need to start braking. And I'm fairly sure we need to go lower than that. Yeah, 30. Oh dear lord. And I'm doing 45. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Okay, I, I think we are okay, chat. Okay, there's a 90 going down to 60.
There we go. Okay, just as we hit 50 zone, we are exactly at 50. So let's keep it that way. Okay, and now we need to slow down. It's 30 again. Ooh. And this is one. Uh, that's a tight curve. Okay, now we can still let it coast, uh, as back of our train is still going over that tight curve. Perfect. Okay, now we are back to reasonable speed. And now what I will need is this. Now, oh. oh dear lord. I did it again chat. I went the wrong way. Uh, that's empty truck. Although doing 60 over switches in here is not exactly the safest way. Uh, why why did I had this thing in, in different mode? Dear Lord. That's going to be very tight. I am really surprised that nothing derailed on that. Okay, on my way back, chat, remind me to change that switch. <laughs> I'm fairly sure we will be going back. Okay, let's keep our speed. Everything in here should be set for us. We are flying it, chat.
Okay, that is a little bit faster than I wanted. But we are doing fine. I'm sure we will be fine. Seventy-five, yeah, we might save up some time. Ooh, that's fifty. Uh, that's a bit fast. Okay, that was a bit too fast. That was definitely too fast. Okay, so lessons learned. Uh, where am I? Hey. Oh, okay. Uh, right. So going over that bit, yes, you you want to be closer to fifty. Uh, but going through. Uh, what is that farm I believe is it yes going through farm you can be 30 kilometers over the speed limit and, and you are perfectly fine uh, okay uh, I made a mess and uh, I oh. okay uh, yeah I messed up chat I messed up a little bit and that that is my fault uh, Right, let me just quickly re-rail that bad boy. There we go. Okay, this is uh, this is good. Okay, we we damaged the wagon a little bit, and I believe we damaged the locomotive just a little bit, down to eleven percent. <laughs> out uh, right let's see if I can still turn it on Is that am I in the right cabin of course I'm not I am in the wrong cabin chat uh, and now I'm stuck oh no uh, busted a link I, I, oh you weren't watching ah oh, you should have uh, I, I just derailed uh, but yeah, that that was a small uh, that was a small mistake of mine. Uh, right, we can do that. Oh, okay. Uh, we can actually let it roll on its own. Oh, I see, I see. So if we do that... Uh, boxcar, to be honest. I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like it, it was hard for me the first time I tried. Uh, then I obviously started smoking again because I said, yeah, why, why bother? Uh, but I didn't really have much of an urge uh, back then to, to start smoking again or something. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I guess it depends how strong will you have. Uh, but yeah, you can also support yourself with some uh, tablets and, and stuff too. Uh, to help you quit smoking. Oh, you stopped nine weeks ago. That's that's nice. Okay, what's going on? Uh, 
brakes are off oh I see oh chat we have a problem something else is wrong This one is all right. Oh, okay, chat. Something else is 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 not all right. Uh, did we lost another wagon somewhere here? That seems alright. Mm, right, chat, I'm catching massive delay. Can you please work? There we go. Now it has to work, chat. There we go. All right, chat, we are back on track. Although we lost some time and we have to make up for it. Okay, 75 on a 60. I think we should be alright. And that's 70, I am doing 70, perfect. Okay, that is still 70.
And now we will be able to test how fast this bad boy can go. Technically, it should be able to reach up to 100 kilometers per hour. But who knows how it's modeled in the game. Okay, we are over a hundred kilometers per hour. Hundred and five. Okay, hundred and five, and now we have to slow down. Seventy. Oh, I'm doing eighty-five. That's a bit fast. Okay, and we are now back to seventy. <laughs> How to check the bra braking? Yes. <laughs> the horn in certain parts and in stations I mean the horn in that thing is absolutely disgraceful it doesn't sound good okay we are doing 65 on a 60 uh, yeah we should be all right So far, so good. Oh dear lord. That is definitely not a place when I want to be going over 40. <laughs> See that curve, oh my dear lord. Nice and smooth, chat. Nice and smooth. Okay, uh, we can stay at 40 and we should be perfectly fine through this valley. Okay, that's 50 there. 
and I'm fairly sure that shortly after the next bend there is a sign for 40 again and I really don't want to derail in this valley because that means the train is going down <laughs> Oh, okay, so that's going to be 60 going down to 40. There we go. I have to say this game has really nice views. You are landing. Ooh. Yeah, try not to crash. Okay, I, I might give it a touch on the brakes. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for this. Ooh, just on the speed limit. There we go. Forty and we are going downhill. Let's just give it a touch on the brakes. A touch more on the brakes. Oh, that's... That was really scary, I'm not gonna lie. Still 40. Oh. They still haven't fixed that texture. Oh dear lord. Oh, okay, and that goes down to 30. That's 40. There we go. Here we are. Uh, now, station map. Uh, I need to go to Harbor and Town. And where do I need to go? Oh, okay. Uh, I believe the first cargo is on Yard E, is it? E8, okay. Ok, 
Okay, nice and slow. Unfortunately, uh, both of these sets are going to different yards. Although one of them is damaged, so it won't really give me any money. So right now I care only about those tractors. one is uh, there is no bell in this game I'm afraid right I need to change this one uh, e7 e8 there we go so that's gonna be track 7 and that is track 8 perfect so we are actually entering this yard which is pretty empty to be honest isn't it chat it's it's very empty more okay now uh, we need to disconnect these wagons go and I need to take these to yard team uh, how do we want to do that uh, let's do that with remote Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh dear lord, this look mob is taking ages, isn't it? Okay, I almost thought that something derailed, uh, but that's not the case. Ok, 
Okay. Now let's set the switches. So I need this one. And this one can stay. This one can stay. And I need to go there. Oh no, that's yard C. Oh dear lord. Uh, where's yard D? Oh, this is this one. Oh dear lord. Uh, how do I get there? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, now I know it. Uh, yeah, so I need to go through this junction. Still can't reach the locomotive. Uh, we are going here, here... Uh, no. Uh, we are going along this track. Uh, D4I. Which is this straight track. Perfect. Oh, that's a good question. How did you do that? Nose wheel steering. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will have to figure that out. Okay. Speaking about figuring things out. I need to quickly get to that siding. Which is also empty. Ooh, that's That's really interesting. For FA-18, FA-18, that's a really nice plane. Is that Microsoft Flight Simulator? The newest one. Yeah, that's a really nice game. I have it and I played it maybe once or twice uh, because right now I don't have a flight stick and I can't be bothered to get one, especially, well, with, with my salary. <laughs> Getting extra accessories that I will be using once or twice, uh, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it actually decoupled. That's nice. I can actually 
actually send it through any other truck. Uh, yeah, let's, let's send it through that outbound truck. And where do I need it? That's going a bit fast. Okay, we can now hand the tasks uh, while the locomotive is rolling. 45 minutes, chat. 45 minutes. And we made a bonus. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you're insured, and, and I caused over a million damage. Uh, I, I think that's game over for me. Uh, oh dear lord. Uh, please... Tell me... I got 188,000 to pay, oh dear lord. That's not good, chat. That's not good. That is all my savings, chat. I, I won't be able to take any jobs. I mean, I can fix the locomotive uh, quite cheap, uh, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, those two wagons are gonna be a problem. 174,205. That is way too expensive. And I got 188,372 to pay. Oh, this is way too expensive. Right, let's lower that number. Uh, I definitely have to fix the locomotive on my own. Otherwise, I will end up being bankrupt. Well, almost. Uh, I got 200, yeah, 259,877. Uh, but yeah, ooh, that that accident is definitely setting me back. Uh, chat, I can tell you, uh, derailing in this game is very expensive. It is extremely expensive. And the thing is, I'm not sure if I can actually fix those wagons in, in that repair shop. I could try, to be honest. Chat, should we try it? The Ray Valley is named for a reason. Yes, uh, it is, but oof, it, it is very expensive to derail in here. It's like literally game over for me. Well, not now, but if, if I would have hundred thousand less in my pocket that would be game over because apparently the game doesn't have any loan system or, or something that I could use to to make up for my mistake 
There is technically that insurance, but it's it's hardly any insurance. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Go for it. Um, I will give it a shot, uh, but I'm gonna use DE2 for that, uh, for that task. I'm not going to use this one because it's way too expensive to do shunting with... with this locomotive. Will you let me go? There we go. Uh, right, let's assess the damage. Body, it's nearly done for. Engine is really destroyed. Two grand for engine and... Eight grand for repairs. Okay. Oil is not too bad, and we used almost half a tank of diesel. Okay, but to my credit, I I actually left it uh, running for a while. So our total bill is seventeen thousand three hundred fifty-six. So that's not too bad for locomotive that is nearly destroyed. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact, chat, that I still got... 171,016 to pay. And the thing is, I, I won't even be able to make up for it a little bit by doing some shunting jobs. Uh, because technically I could do shunting with these wagons. And make some money up. And then keep paying that piece. Uh, at least like in some sort of installment or something. Uh, but at this moment... I can't do anything. Uh, I, I can't even accept the job uh, because it won't let me. So I have to pay that piece. Uh, the question is... Uh, how can I... Okay, so this one is 48% damaged. Oh dear, this one is completely destroyed. And this one is 80% damage. The Rivali is easy to edit the save file. Uh, yeah, I, I could do that. <laughs> Big engines do not shunt, Thomas. <laughs> Yes, true, that is true. Uh, right, chat, uh, I'm gonna try an experiment. If I can repair the body of, of the wagon, if I will get it to repair station. Uh, because that would reduce that massive bill by half. I'll donate 10 million DV bucks. I mean, yes, chat, I, I know I could technically edit my save game file, but then it wouldn't be a challenge. It wouldn't be fun if, if I wouldn't struggle. Uh... But why? 
why is it so darn expensive oh just look at this chart 171,000 uh, wait a minute wait a minute so it still wants me to pay less but for some reason Oh. Wait, let me just check the stats. Yeah, copay remaining is 171,016, and uh, and my fee tolerance is only 28,000, uh, which is uh, this is ridiculous. Chat total copay that I can pay, like the maximum that the game may ask me to pay in fees and in damages it's 568,500 there is no job in this game that pays that much so yes I could just clear it uh, but that would make no sense oh. Oh, you can't print it. Uh, fees. Uh, confirm. Hundred seventy four thousand. Oh, wait, I. I actually damaged some of the flatbeds with tractors. Oh dear lord. This one is 100%. This one's 100%. This one's 100%. Come on, give me a break. Which one is damaged? This one's 100%. Oh, okay, this one is damaged. A middle one. This one's damaged for some reason. This one's damaged. This one's completely destroyed. And this one is completely destroyed. But when I last checked it, they weren't. Uh, so I damaged this job, oh, and that's why. This is bad chat, this is really bad. Right, the question is, can I carry uh, one of those wagons and get them repaired? Uh, let's just check it. Set the switches all the way to to go there and pick those wagons. Perfect. Okay. Power ENSB, mm, nice. Five hours twenty six minutes. Oh dear lord. Okay, you you spent total eight hours flying. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That is definitely not too bad. Um, I am in the wrong cabin. Do I? Yes. Get into this cabin and turn this bad boy on. Okay, and uh, brakes off.
Oops, I, I think I overshot a little bit. Just a tiny bit. to use the same there we go that's much better now let's drive it into the shed So this one is done. Now I need that these. Come on you. There we go. Just a touch more. much better all right chat we are in the good old shunter uh, this one is quite easy to turn on there we go that's much better Okay, that should do. Perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot, I, I got a mod that modifies sounds, so the shunter has actually different sounds now. Uh, right, let me just pair this lock on. Chat, if this is going to work, that is going to solve all my problems with the Ray Valley and any sort of derailments. If you can just fix the wagons inside engine shed, although that, that would be too stupid to be true, but who knows.
Because this way I could fix all the wagons that I damaged and then pay the remaining coal pay. Well, uh, remaining coal pay. Uh, and then pay remaining insurance, which should end up being cheaper than 171,000. Well, technically, if it's stupid but it works, then it's not stupid, but... You never know, you never know, chat. It's Deray Valley, after all. there <laughs> it will be so funny if it actually works Nice and slow, nice and slow chat. Last thing I want to do is to further damage anything. Okay, let's let the compressor to do the job. I like the new sounds of, of that shunter. I really love them. Uh, do I wear glasses? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, I'm at that age that, uh, yeah, I, I, I need glasses, chat, I need glasses. I'm over 30, so... <laughs> you know, that that's the age when, when your body is starting to fall apart. Uh, no, not really. I, I just went into nearest, like, uh, uh, well, spec savers or, or whatever, like, uh, yeah, glasses shop. Uh, booked my eye test with them, uh, because in many places in the UK, uh, whenever you see a shop that sells glasses, uh, they usually also offer an eye test. Uh, so. I booked my eye test, I came in for, for the eye test, got, uh, got everything sorted in, in, in that regard. Uh, and then, like, choosing glasses for me wasn't that, uh, that hard, I, I just picked a few that I liked, uh, checked the prices and decided, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take these ones and that's it. Uh, I, I didn't really give much thought into it and uh, probably I should have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if, if you ask for advice uh, at, at the shop, they will advise you what's, uh, what's trending and, and stuff. But yeah, you should just pick the shape uh, that, that you like. Uh, obviously, 
like uh, glasses that you pick will also depend uh, on like what kind of lenses you need uh, because if, if you got like a massive issue and you need thick lenses you want thicker uh, frames uh, you don't want any any thin frames but other than that uh, yeah it's, it's that simple just pick your favorite shape and, and, and go for it I got round glasses and I got uh, square glasses I got two sets basically Right chat, the moment of truth. If that's gonna work. Uh, I don't know to be honest. Uh, what I did, I got uh, one of my sets is uh, those are those, uh, how is it called? Photochromatic or uh, photochromes. So yeah, basically when I go into like a bright daylight, uh, my glasses automatically turn into sunglasses. <laughs> uh, so that's one of them, and, and the other ones are, are just simple ones with simple glass, and, and I use them mostly at work. But yeah, I, I never thought about like changing colors uh, would, would make me see better or something. Oh yes, they are really nice, uh, especially when uh, when you don't like bright sunlight, uh, which I basically hate. Uh, chat. Chat. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. Uh, let me just double check it. Oh dear lord, I will have to pay 171,000. And uh, no, but I think... Oh, chat, I, I got an idea. Stupid. But this one is going to work. Right. Uh, let me just hit the reverse. Let's drive out. I know what I can do, chat. Oh, this is a cheeky thing. This is a very cheeky thing. And I'm sure it's gonna work. I'm gonna be very, very cheeky bastard. And I will... Yeah. Uh, uh, clear. There we go. I, I, I fixed that. For cheap. Uh, let me just... 
I'm fairly sure that it worked. If that works, chat, I am gonna save a lot of money. Damn it. Still doesn't work. Still doesn't work, chat. FH41, that, that's the previous job. Ooh. But there is now. Passenger trains. Uh, oh, there is surprisingly large number of passenger jobs. And this one is no longer valid. There we go. The wagons don't exist. Uh, but the problem is, I, I, I still have the wagons. Uh, yeah. Uh, your chat overlay has stopped working. What you mean, chat overlay? <laughs> right, chat. Uh, uh, I, I think I will have to pay that fee. Uh, for the stream in my video. I mean, everything seems to be working correctly on my end. Chat is visible on the stream only uh, on specific screens, so it's not visible all the time. Right, uh, chat, I'm afraid I will have to do that. Ooh, and I'm down to 58,000. Woohoo! I got the winning sound. Right. But I'm now poor. <laughs> and I deleted the wagons that I could use for shunting. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. Uh, right, but chat, we got passenger trains. Ooh, we got a lot of passenger trains. You won the game. I, I, I absolutely lost chat. I, I began today's session having over 200,000 in my pocket. I, I was so happy that I'm getting closer and closer to get another license. And I pushed it. I, I completely... Like, ah, uh, I completely lost, and and now there are passenger jobs which I, I don't really want to do. Oh, I can get pocket watch for five grand. No, that's an expensive pocket watch. Right, uh, chat, I, I am full of disappointment, uh, because all I can do... <laughs> oh dear. Wait, there is a commuter train to Steel Mill. Can any one of you tell me where is a platform at Steel Mill? Thanks. Thank you, Second King. I, 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 I appreciate how much 
fate you have in me. Chat, chat, chat. Can you see that? 61 minutes to do express passenger train, machine factory in town. Easy, but the job itself pays 30,000 bonus with on time completion. I think that these jobs will be really good for grinding. Unfortunately, I can't take them because I don't have a license and I can't obtain one because the license costs 100,000. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of screwed now. Uh, well, I can do that shunting job. Uh, that should earn me like Oh, this is still damaged. That was supposed to be fixed. I don't think I want to touch that. I think the game is bugged. Shut. Right, uh, I got this little shunter that is a little bit outplaced. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's... Let's do this job. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, the remote, remote. It's still paired. Perfect. Ah, there we go. That's much better. Right, so I can do this job. Uh, I can also have a look at military jobs. And I will have to make up some money and then start taking passenger trains. I think that is my only chance, chat. That, that is my only chance. And I have to be very, very careful. Shunter now has working lights. That looks pretty good. Uh, right, let's have a look if, if there are any... Oh, darn. No jabs. Well, I could technically spawn some wagons and that should spawn some jabs later on, but... We are just unlucky today. Uh, right. Uh, 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 right. That. That. Now we've got light here. Uh, yeah. Switch. I hope that when I do that shunting job, I will get a job to load these wagons and move them somewhere else. Uh, because technically that's how it should work. Because one thing that I've done as well is uh, I installed that persistent jobs mode. I just hope that after I move those wagons, uh, the game won't try and put a blame on me for damaging them again. Because uh, then, yeah, then I can just edit my save game and, <laughs> and 
and fix it uh, because uh, otherwise I, I won't be able to recover from that. Okay, uh, I need I need this one. there chat almost there is filling okay let's get those tractors unloaded I really like how this game looks at night. Uh, it's uh, it's absolutely lovely. And now all I have to do is wait, and uh, the train is rolling. I have to say that this thing has surprisingly long range.
Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oops, I, I think I changed the wrong switch. Oh, where am I going? Oh dear lord. Chat. Oh, I, I almost messed up. Oof. I was at the wrong track. Okay, let's do it one more time. <laughs> I knew something's wrong. Oh dear lord. Where did I send you? Uh... Oh, you see chat, I, I changed that switch. And I was supposed to change that switch. Well, there is no better way to mess up than to crash your train somewhere else <laughs> into, into passenger wagons. Uh, that, that would be disastrous. Oh dear lord. What have I done? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear lord, I, I, I'm making silly mistakes today. That's that's not how I planned things. I mean, I haven't planned anything, but. Okay, and now... Now... We should be able to... Eighteen minutes. Uh, okay, I'm not going to accept it yet. I'm going to wait for that move to finish. I need to slow down. Uh, yes, I, I, I am aware of, of that issue. Now things should work as as planned.
There we go. Train is still on the move. What? What is wrong now? Can't take a job. I don't have any fees. Okay, uh, chat, I think we have a problem. Well, the train is here. It's ready to be unloaded. Uh, let me just turn that off. Oh, it might be because uh, some wagons are damaged. Oh, this is bad. I'm not sure how to deal with that problem, chat. Because I got per, uh, persistent jobs, I will have to push this train back on its original siding. And what I can do then... is to get to another station uh, because I won't be able to do anything uh, at Harbour and Town uh, especially if the station is completely abandoned what I'm gonna need now chat is a nice place where I can start doing jobs and we need a fresh start with this apparently I can't use those damaged wagons to accept jobs with them and I can't use passenger wagons for anything uh, because I don't have passenger license
And I can't leave those wagons anywhere because they won't despawn. Uh, so I, I have to literally push them back on, on their original siding. Uh, I believe that when I restart the game it will detect correctly that the wagons uh, should be repaired. If not, I can always delete them. Well, that was unexpected. Most. Yeah, with, uh, with Persistent Jabs mod, you really want to keep things where they should be. Uh, because nothing will despawn if it's out of place. That includes wagons and locomotives. there
And here she comes. A little bit engine, and use a tiny bit of oil, no sand used. Okay, not too bad, 1500. Okay, and now let's quickly turn it back on. And let's pop it into one of the empty stands so that we won't be blocking. Oh, I actually almost overshot. Yeah, that will do. Okay. Uh, There we go. And let's reset that uh, since I'm still here. There we go. So the next time I will be trying to arrive, I won't find myself dropping locomotive <laughs> into turntable. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, that is probably something that I would have done. Uh, right, chat. Uh, 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 what now? Uh, what is going to happen now is uh, I think we will call it a day. And we will get back to that issue in the next episode. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think we should do that. Uh, it's been 2 hours 51 minutes since I started that stream and it was really, really nice adventure <laughs> we tried few things we tried a new mode and i'm well i'm happy with the result of, of the testing i'm not happy with the result of uh, of our today's job that we did uh, but well you know uh, there are better and worse days isn't it uh, one day you win one day you lose and and today i lost I, I i lost a lot of progress and i will have to recoup those losses uh, one way or another Whew. but that's something that we will uh, adventure let me know how notepad plus plus is I've not used it in 10 minutes oh fair enough <laughs> okay Okay, <laughs> there we go, uh, we are back to uh, to our end screen uh, where we can see some nice screenshots from the Ray Valley. And yes, chat, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we will wrap it up uh, for today. It was really interesting adventure. Uh, we managed to test that ST44. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with that locomotive compared to, uh, what was it, 663, 664, uh, which, uh, which is that green uh, large locomotive uh, that we've driven for, for a short while today. Um, 
ST44 turned out to be a bit more disappointing. Uh, I, I had much more fun uh, driving 663 or 664, whichever that is. Uh, I, I constantly keep forgetting what model that is. Uh, let me just quickly check it. Uh, 664, there we go. Yes. Uh, so that was really interesting. I, I look forward for the author to finally uh, fix some of those issues that uh, that were mentioned. Uh, and it will be much, much better locomotive than ST44 is right now. Uh, although ST44 can improve as a mod, uh, depending on... Uh, on the outer obviously uh, if, if the outer will be working on it and, and improve the model improve uh, things that don't work with it um, then it, it will become really really nice addition to this game um, otherwise yeah it's it's a bit clunky to use um, i really don't like how uh, well a regulator works um, it's, it's it's not working really well and there are a few other issues, uh, and obviously that uh, that shining effect, uh, that that glare that that comes from or that reflections uh, from uh, from the body, uh, it's it's a bit too much for the, for this game. Um, I I think it should be a bit less uh, reflective. Um, it it feels like a mirror, and and it shouldn't. Um, uh, but other than that, yes, I, I really enjoyed playing uh, uh, with that locomotive today. Uh, obviously, I managed to crash it. <laughs> because why not? And, and eventually I lost tons of money. Uh, but that is giving us some opportunity for the next episode uh, when we will be trying to uh, recoup some losses. Uh, when the next episode of Diray Valley will happen, I can't guarantee anything at the moment. It might happen next week, it might happen in two weeks. It all depends uh, what I will decide to stream in next episode uh, or during my next stream. As you guys know, I, I stream only once a week uh, on Fridays at 5 p.m. UK time. Uh, that might change in the future, but for now that's that's my streaming time. and. That's when you will find me live with the Ray Valley or any other train content, most likely. Uh, so whatever I will have a chance and, and time to stream, uh, that, that will be featured in next episode. Until then, uh, I strongly encourage everyone to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Or follow me on Twitch if, if you prefer to watch me there. And obviously join my Discord server. Uh, links should be in the description of the video or under the player on Twitch. Uh, so yeah, uh, you will find plenty of information there. Right. See you next time. Bye bye.